Moving menacingly into third place, classified is four. They seem to have it between them at the moment as they head down towards the second last. Limestone Lab will jump this about a half length ahead of Iris's gift. Barracuda's on their tail and he's cantering the French horse. In third, in fourth place is classified. They're a long way clear of the others. They're headed by Lissa Quereg. They turn for home then. Limestone Lad, can he beat them off? Iris's gift traveling well. Thierry Dumen now gets to work on Barracuda, who's taking a challenge on the outside. Outside, and here we go down towards the final flight. It's the clash we've all been waiting for. Limestone lap for Ireland, Barracuda for France. Barracuda strikes the front pretty early. Aris's gift between horses. Here's the final flight. Barracuda, Aris's gift. Limestone lap back in third. It's Barracuda who leads again up the Cheltenham Hill. Aris's gift trying to get back to the French horse in second place. He can idle in front. Barracuda and Aris's gift. There's a half length between the pair. Has now come under strong pressure. Sadler's Wings has made ground the inside. Turning for home, Brave Inca leads Max Joy coming there towards the outside. And then comes in third, Sadler's Wings. Hardy Eustace has dropped right out. Final flight coming up now. And it's Brave Inca, Tony McCoy from Max Joy and Barry Geraghty. They've gone on from Golden Cross. The final flight coming up now. Brave Inca is going to rise in the lead from Max Joy. They're racing inside the last 200 yards. And Brave Inca, what a battler he is. And he's digging deeper and deeper again. Max Joy, last year's winner, is trying to close. But Brave Inca gets his revenge and wins the AIG well, for Tony McCoy. But Macquarie. while Shakespeare is a big challenge and so too is Archibald, it moves like a good one. They've got two more to jump in the Potemps fighting fifth. English Dreaver right on the stand side. What a good jump. A reach there by Royal Shakespeare on the far side. Archibald, it looks how far for Archibald. But English Dreaver is a tough customer and he's with the advantage as they come to the final flight. English Dreaver and Archibald who jumps at the better and goes incredibly well. Well, a grade one race and Archibald, just an inch of rain is all that's required. And Archibald pulls readily clear and comes home to win this impressively. Archibald the winner, English Dreamer is second, Royal Shakespeare third. In the sky, Falcon is fourth. Clear of the French furs and then Peru and then Rick up for the final flight. Hardy Eustace from Brave Inca. Max Joy trying to get to them towards the outside. They're followed by Jazz Messenger and Lunaeus coming down to the final flight. Hardy Eustace now pressed by Brave Inca, the near side. In third is Max Joy. They're coming now to the final flight. Hardy Eustace and Brave Inca. They fly the last together. It's Hardy Eustace from Brave Inca on the near side. It's a tremendous battle. Hardy Eustace on the inside is digging deep for Conor O'Dwyer. Hardy Eustace is battling. The dual champion beats the current champion. Hardy Eustace and Conor O'Dwyer beat Brave Inca. Max Joy is third and Luna is The second last, and Iris's gift joins Solarina at this point. Barracuda waiting in the wings with Crystal Dane jumped it big. Behind these is Redemption, and then Tarxian as they run towards the final turn. And Iris's gift, Barry Geraghty, is the first to commit here. It's Iris's gift gallops into the lead. Barracuda now goes second with about two and a half lengths to make up on the leader. Crystal Danny is driven along in third, and Solarina struggling to go with them. The long run to the final flight. Iris's gift second last year Barracuda looking for his third championship in second place in the leader's slipstream they approach the final flight Iris's gift by a length and a half to Barracuda who jumped it really well Iris's gift joined by Barracuda here comes Barracuda and Thierry Dumain but he comes under pressure and Iris's gift is fighting back they battled it out 12 months ago Iris's gift is in front of Barracuda Barracuda can't get to him and the grey horse wreaks his revenge Iris's gift wins the stay 
takes over from Caterino. The Henderson horses one and two, but they're queuing up to mount challenges. Istabrac on the inside goes third. Then all La Loire stage affair running on. Behind these then Dato Star from Mr. Percy Blue Royal, but Istabrac quickens up smartly on the inside and is poised to challenge. All La Loire back in third, then Caterino is stage affair. Here comes Istabrac on the inside of Blue Royal. Ashley Park running on on the outside of Orland but Esther Brack strikes the front with just his favourite hill to climb. Blue Royal second, then Ashley Park and Orland and Esther Brack's going on to win his third Spurfit champion hurdle. Four festival wins running for Esther Brack in the champion, a champion of champions. Orland Wa and Blue Royal. He seems to be happy, but he's having to get at the mare now. Here they come towards the final flight. Lady Rebecca and Bacchanal. This is going to be a brave fight up the hill between these two as they come to the last. And Lady Rebecca is much braver at the last. She pinged it. Bacchanal had a good look at it. But he'll fight back now as they come inside the last 100 yards. Lady Rebecca, Bacchanal is inching closer. Gets to within about a length. Gets to within half a length. They're about 50 yards from the post. Up towards the line and she hangs on. He's coming to the Lady final flight now, Limestone Lad. He's going to get a huge cheer from the crowd. Crowd. Boss Doyle is just uh, turning in now as Limestone Lad reaches the final flight. The Bow family's pet Limestone Lad at the last over and uh, just loving up to the line in procession in this Christmas hurdle. Boss Doyle a remote second and they're going up to the line. Limestone Lad, this vastly improved horse, developing a huge following. He wins ease down by a distance from Boss Doyle in second, Spirit Dancer like Solarina pressed on the outside by Hardy Eustace. Max Joy is there between them. Brave Inca accordion at wall. George's girl can't go with them and over the second last. Three in line, Solarina, Max Joy and Hardy Eustace. The three are three lengths clear of Brave Inca. As they come round the turn, Barry Gerdy has a look, sees Conor O'Dwyer at work and so too Gary Hutchinson. Brave Inca under strong pressure in fourth. They're on the run down to the final flight. Max Joy, Hardy Eustace. Eustace Solarina, Brave Inc. in fourth, on the run now to the final flight, and Max Joy and Barry Garrity from Hardy Eustace towards the near side, Brave Inc. moves into third, the final flight, Max Joy from Hardy Eustace, Brave Inc. is running on well on the inside, they're inside the last 200 yards, Max Joy is a battle on, on either side, Hardy Eustace and Brave Inc. come to swoop, they're inside the last 50 yards, a tremendous finish! Brave Inca on the inside of Max Joy. It's gone to the judge. Brave Inca. Over. Isterbrack a close second, and they're chased by Mantle Sprints. Colonel Jaeger in fourth. And as they run the turn, Moscow Flyer, the big nose band. Isterbrack travelling nicely on the outside. Charlie looking uh, between his legs to see if he can uh, see Colonel Jaeger as they race towards the final flight now Isterbrack on the near side on the inside is Moscow Flyer the first to come under pressure there cleared of Colonel Jaeger and Mantle's Prince but Isterbrack beginning to open up now coming to the final flight Isterbrack the leader he's over and he's fallen again Isterbrack is down he's fallen Isterbrack is down he's up safely and he's walked away and it's Moscow Flyer again benefiting from a fall of uh, Isterbrack drama galore here at Leperstown and Moscow Flyer wins the Shell Champion Hurl. Colonel Jaeger is second. Still there in the centre. Rooster Boost to the grey on the near side. Yet to be produced. They've kicked away from Quasar. Two left to jump now. Near side. It's into Sky Falcon who lands over to the lead from West Ender. Rhinestone Cowboy veered over towards the inside. Here's Rooster Booster who's been waited and waited and waited with. It's into Sky Falcon the near side. Grabbed now by Rooster. Rooster hits the front as they touch down over the last. He's got a half length in front. Into Sky Falcon trying to wear him down, followed by West Ender and Rhinestone Cowboy is coming home well. It's Rooster Booster grabbed by Rhinestone Cowboy. Rhinestone Cowboy is going to get up and win it for the Orange JP Magna. He gets up to meet coming up into Sky Falcon, taken on by Rooster Booster and West Ender. Rhinestone Cowboy, the favourite, jumped in in fourth place, and Rooster Booster is running all over this leader into Sky Falcon. The hugely improved Rooster Booster. West Ender trying to make a race of it on the outside. Rhinestone Cowboy back in fourth place, approaching the final fight. He says go on Rooster Booster, who's jet propelled at the last. Rooster Booster, six or eight lengths clear and pulling further away. From West Ender into Sky Falcon, Rhinestone Cowboy, self-defence from the rear. But Rooster Booster is storming up the Cheltenham Hill here in the hands of Richard Johnson and 
Rooster Booster wins the champion hurdle. The second is West Ender. Rhinestone Cowboys stayed on for third. With a five-length lead over Hardy Eustace, Al Ella and Lunaeus at the final flight and jumps it big and bold. It is sizing Europe, who's out clear of Hardy Eustace and Al Ella and running up towards the finish. It is sizing Europe, who's galloping his way into the champion hurdle picture as he wins the AIG. Andrew McNamara shows his delight. Well clear, fine performance, close second. Hardy Eustace and Al Ella. Oh, Michael with Solwick coming there strongly in the centre. Clough has made ground the outside of Jazz Messenger and Solwick now sent to the front by Davy Russell. Quickly asserts and goes clear. Coming down out of the final flight and Solwick and Davy Russell clear of Jazz Messenger and over the last it is Solwick the leader chased by Jazz Messenger who's putting in a good late bid but Solwick is going to be four lengths too good and we win the Red Mills trial for Davy Russell and Charles Burns. Jazz Messenger second and it's going to be pop the question because he's absolutely cantering up sides the French first and these two steadily going clear now of all the Loire in third and a widening gap to Sir Talbot down now towards the second last and Valera Mix just cantering alongside the French first as they take it in the air together now they come on towards the final flight all the Loire takes it about 50 lengths back in third and then Sir Talbot four on now towards the final flight and Valera Mix now has gone to the front by about a length and a half as he comes towards the final flight up and over safely from the French first and Valeria Mix quickening up now he's had this in the bag all the way down the home straight he's hardly drawn breath as he comes inside the last half furlong now winning by about four or five lengths but it could easily be 25 lengths Valeria Mix it is coasting home an impressive win of the Beulah hurdle 